Quinn and I are masters at um, cooking at home. I don't know, we've been doing it for 15 years. We've been kind of doing the dance in the home kitchen and we've gotten quite good. I like to do a lot on the grill, which kind of like separates us. Everybody gets their space. We totally divide and conquer. We plan the menu. Obviously it can be a little more rustic at home and I think that's a great way to do it. But also if it's just the two of us and maybe a kid helping out, you want to kind of keep it all simple. You have to cover all everything from it being good for them, quick, finding something that's like interesting but not too adventurous for them. And Yeah, um, there's, a, there's a real balance because I think it's our goal to sit down to a family dinner that everybody will want to eat. So for Quinn and I, we want to eat something possibly with a little bit of technique involved and we have to then weigh in what the kids' needs are and what they're likely to eat. You know, you sort of like, all right, we're incorporating this thing we know they like and maybe something a little bit new and kind of like let if it... If it fails, you pull out the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were figuring out today's meal, ultimately I think we wanted something simple and delicious that also really highlighted the seasons. So we're gonna be doing a red wine braised short rib. We have the brown sugar broiled carrots the peach and avocado salad, and then we're gonna do uh, grilled corn with Parmesan. So with the short ribs, you know, it's these great beef short ribs, and um, we just season them, salt and pepper, sear them off in the pan that we're gonna braise them in. So I do, I'll do like a couple at a time, kind of keep a little space in the pan, allow myself to get nice caramelization on the meat. So once the meat's all seared, it comes out of the pan, and we're actually gonna caramelize the shallots and kind of just like reinforcing that. How long has it been since you cut an onion like that? Mm, Monday. <laughs> like all those caramelized flavors from the shallot and the uh, initial roasting of the meat, it all and, and the wine all sort of comes together in this really great like glazy sauce. The peach and the avocado salad is just sliced avocado and peach and a little bit of fresh herb, lemon juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. Very, very simple. The kids love avocado. And I always like to have food, you know, for me, colors, bright colors represent um, good? different nutrients that's fun to incorporate into the meal. And what's great about the corn is, you know, we actually cook it a little bit before we blanch it. When you blanch it, it's got a little bit of water in it, it can hit the grill and you can just get that char on the outside and you're not really trying to cook the corn all the way through because you've already cooked it. One day they like something and then the next day they don't. And they've been eating maybe carrot sticks or you know raw carrots for snacking for a year and then all of a sudden they don't like them that way at all. And our daughter likes to peel carrots with us sometimes. It's one of her favorite things to help us with in the kitchen. So it's fun to be able to do those one. things with her. 